Hello and welcome to episode 21 of War of the Gods. I'm your host this evening. I am Woodhouse 204, joined as always by my good friend Gareth. Say, tomatoes are better than pasta. I mean, it's definitely a combination thing, right? <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hope everyone's well. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with that. I'm just uh, I'm just going off yeah. on one. So on the last episode, we defeated some flowers yeah. uh, for Mother's Day, which, which <laughs> yeah, is fitting, timely. Uh, and now we're about to face the Red Baron. Yeah. But before we do so, we must go to the wheel to decide our team for this week. So we have it. It's here. It's right in front of us. It's ready to begin. I've actually been organized. Yeah. It's weird. There's also a million spins we've got to do as well because we've got no new characters. Uh, no new characters, so it's 11 spins. So uh, let's prepare. Place your bets. The first Place one your bets. Is... It's going to be 11 slides. First? It's Grim again. Of course it is. <laughs> He's always there. It's always Grim. <laughs> Welcome to the northwest of England. It's always okay. Grim in, up north. Uh, I tell you what, it's actually been a nice day today. Here. It's been fine where I am as well, yeah. Yeah. It was a, it was an easy work yeah. day as well, which is great. Ooh. Ooh. And it's it's was, road. No, just. I was gonna say, it's just there road. Was a cheeky tantalizer there, wasn't there? It was like, am I gonna be Rick? Yeah. Maybe I'm Rick. I should say, after the, the last episode when I was kind of struggling with Grim, um Alex came to me and said would you like a little table to to remind you what all the strengths and weaknesses yeah. are? For all and the you spells? said yes, thank and you. Like, yes, please. Thank you, Lord and Savior. So, so I have a I have a little table here that's that's going to help us out, so that I don't use Grim terribly like I normally do. Anyway, We're going to so forget we the table Rode and Grim. We're going to panic. We're well, going to okay. flap. It's going to yeah. be. Yeah, of course. That's what we do. It's not so, going to be just like the simulation three. at all. <laughs> no. Okay, Randolph. Beyonce's back. I can get behind Randolph. <laughs> this is something I've been thinking of uh, by uh, for these characters, by the way, the uh, the Baron characters. Right. I'm wondering if we should put agility on them. Uh, it wouldn't hurt because their hit percentage is <laughs> terrible. So I'm wondering if if like that would be the way to go. Uh, possibly, or you know, some glasses. <laughs> Unfortunately, that isn't an accessory available to us, Gareth. Accuracy as specs. much as it would make sense. Yeah, I'm back. And Kiwi as well. We have a front line today. Flipping it. We've got Rode, Randolph, and Kiwi. Or yourself. Yeah. This is looking good. I, I like this team. In the words of uh, Bender, I'm Bending back. Rodriguez. I'm back, baby. <laughs> Talking of back. Slade. <laughs> Slade. <laughs> it's a one-hit KO <laughs> master. Oh, Slade is it? <laughs> That's fine. He has a front line. He's going to be fine today. He's going to slip in and out of that tank line. It's going to be like fine. Like a, a ninja? Like a ninja, almost. Uh, oh, right. Zinc are, are we sure? There we go. The wheel's being a bit like, but am I tonight, isn't it? Yeah. Maybe. That's three, six. We've got six so far. Have you I got have six, six yep. Yeah. Excellent. Five more to go. How do you feel about Zinc, by the um, way? I feel he's seemed, okay. Uh, it doesn't... He's back. <laughs> also, he's back. Eric's is this, back. Like, is this okay. last week's team? <laughs> it's kind of. There's a lot of last week's team. Uh, Slade wasn't there. Kiwi wasn't there. Uh, but was, everyone yeah. else was. So. All right. Four more. Eric getting those free level ups from basically being there. <laughs> yep. Higgins? I'm okay with Higgins. I would say that we don't have any healers yet. Or dedicated healers. Uh, that's true. I mean, surely Rune's going to be in the squad, right? Because Rune just. He finds a... Every time there's a wheel, he finds his way. He's in like there, the Jurassic so... Park joke, isn't he? He finds a way. Finds a way, yeah. Not Peter. This is good. Janet! We haven't had Janet in ages, actually. No, we had the lesser Janet, though, didn't we, a couple of weeks back? Elric, yeah. I do actually prefer Janet, so... Eh, uh, what's that? That's... No, no, we're on roll 10. Eight, 9. No, no dedicated healer. Celeste is back? Okay. Remember that she, uh 
The damage dealer. Not the damage. Not the healer. <laughs> not the taker. All right, we've got one more. Let's see who's left. I mean, favor of one healer? <laughs> you called it. You wanted to see it. He's back again. It's Rune. I mean, I didn't want to see him. Rune is back. Here he is. The thumb. I'd rather have Kana or Rick, but we, we take what we can get on this game. So Thumbs up for the glorious thumb. Team. Uh, Slade. Kiwi, Janet, Rode, Eric, Randolph, Higgins, Grimm, Rune, Zinc, and Celeste are your shining force, led by the golden leader, who's actually become somewhat decent in the last couple of Who episodes. Who knew buying Bowie. some expensive, exclusive items and putting them onto your uh, needed character would make him better? Well, that... <laughs> Well, yeah, that, that's what I'm doing on YouTube. I'm trying to buy expensive items, and I want you to buy them for me. Um, uh, Patreon John... details in, in the in the description. Patreon um, incoming. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's uh, let's change the teams, and we'll get right into it like that. And we're back. We have assembled the team and we are ready to face off against the Baron Most Red. I mean, this team's been assembled like IKEA furniture where there's probably some pieces extra. We don't really know what to do with them. There's probably something. There's like yeah, those are called uh, those are called equipable items, Gareth, and we have all the yeah. items. But then there's always we like, you always look many. at something and you're like, I feel there should be another screw there. Oh yeah, it doesn't uh, seem to be. Really, you have that problem. Uh, I. I, I've, I've never had that I've, The worst experience I've known from Ikea is I, I, one of my friends asked me to wait in his house uh, for some stuff to come, and I had to ring him when the stuff was delivered because all the grass was shattered in it. Because <clears throat> it was like a display cap. All the grass? Glass. <laughs> uh, that uh, makes more was sense. shattered in it because he'd ordered like a display cabinet for like his girlfriend's like uh, pottery and some of his Magic the Gathering memorabilia and stuff. Oh, he said the, he said the M word. Switching off. What? Yeah, that's fine. But uh, I basically was like, hi, they're here. Yeah, it's here, but it's in more pieces than originally advertised. So not only were they upset, I'm... they were also angry at you because you were trying to be witty about it. I, my wittiness makes many people angry. Agreed. As we, we discussed earlier. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get into character. Let's get into character, Gareth. Gasp is here. Lemon face. Now Wine you face. shall pay for killing my precious prism flowers. Gasp again. That sounds like you've just made a pun. Gasp again. Hee hee hee! Do you have another cunning trap for us? Would Why I do just that? Make me think of Baldrick. <laughs> I just want to introduce you to my friend. I like, do you have another cunning trap? The end of the last fight. I'm going to go get the Red Baron. I'm going to tell on you. I'm going to go get my dad. And he's going to beat up your dad. Red Baron, say hello. I don't know if that's just a North of England thing or not. I, or... You know what? I actually do think it is. I'm not sure. I, I suppose it kind of works anywhere, doesn't it? My dad can yeah. beat up your dad. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely something that you did when you were like six in the playground when you and someone had an argument. Yeah. He's waiting I hope for you. I've just... never made that threat. I couldn't beat up anyone's dad. Just outside the Gallum Gate, you have to defeat him if you want to advance. See his red armor? It's smeared with blood. Who is he, Shenlong? You must defeat him if you want a chance. He has killed many people. Or one extremely bloody person, we can't really tell. <laughs> Have you ever seen the thing? Uh, it's like uh, no, I haven't. I've not seen that movie. Sword for, uh, what's it from? A guy was like, "Oh, I forged this sword from the blood of my enemies," and someone did the maths that you'd have to slay like four hundred people, drain their blood to get the equivalent iron. I, isn't it? it isn't it just 000. easier to go to like I don't know a smith, a smith or something? <laughs> yeah. Now it's your but turn. Really show this will be your undoing. It doesn't show your dedication to hatred as much, though, does it? No, I mean, you can't quite be as edgy if you go to a smith. <laughs> yeah. Gallum is just over there, but... 
We have to advance. Woody, are you ready? No. Is it wrong when they went, Gallum's just over there, and I just could hear one of my old flatmates whose ru his rule of thumb was if he had to, if he leant fully to one side with an arm at stretch and he couldn't reach it, it was too far. It was this person it wrong quite, that that's quite adverse to exercise as well? Uh, not anymore, he's not. Oh, okay, then that's good. Uh, he, he now runs the average of, like, a marathon a week and goes fell walking and running. Cool. Called Liam. Uh, so I see a couple of new faces here. I, I mean, Skelly face. Skelly face. Skeleton, Skeleton hero. hero. Feels like something that you'd, you'd do in Hero Quest when you want to upgrade one of the baddies. I kind of feel like he should be on the front of like some sort of 80s hair metal band singing The Trooper. Um, what? The. It, is it like Eddie's cousin? Yeah, maybe. Attack of 157. You know what? That's not that scary when you realize that, you know, Celeste can do like 5 million attack. Yeah, but then again, when a flower's got 20 attack and it nearly kills a guy. That's true. Um, it lies. It lied to us. There's been some of these guys with over 100 attack and they've not really been damaging us that much. Yeah, like the Devil Sniper and the Death Archer, who both have like 120 the, odd. So The not... Death Archer was really painful in front of the Zalbard Temple, though, wasn't it? They were what were causing us the problems. Yeah, true. Um, What else? The Half Fiend. Half Goat. Who also only has 122 attack. Yeah, 182 uh, HP. Yeah. That that seems like... Pretty chunky. I, I, I'm not that impressed by that, but we'll see, yeah, but we'll see how it's we broken later on. That becomes like a common uh, a common enemy type up the tower, though, doesn't it? I, yeah, if, if we're going off like vanilla, yeah. So we also have the Chaos Sorcerer who has Blaze 4, which could mm -hmm. be an issue. So, um, yeah, he needs to die. Uh, and the Master Monk, who has heal four. And then, of course, we have Ye Old Red Baron with 200 attack and nearly 400 HP. Seems legit. Oh, yeah. I, I kind of feel like Alex got a little bit lazy. 87 agility as well. He, he kind of got a little bit lazy on the old stats there. 200 attack, 100 defense, nearly 400 HP. Done and done. Yeah. I don't want to make it look like I just halved everything or doubled everything. Yeah. So I'll take 20 off. <laughs> uh, I, f I don't want to seem like I was just using an arbitrary system. You know, I kind of... Another thing that occurred to me um, is that that's there. Yeah. That, that's, but there's no. Uh, that's normally not there. And that, what is that looks sus it? suspicious as well. Suspiciously, yeah. Oh, and that looks like the place where you put the, the uh, yeah. dry stone. The dry stone. So, this is interesting. Uh, yeah. Also, like the enemies are quite far away, which makes I mean, makes me suspicious as well. I could just yeah. be being overly paranoid because this is Alex Harmon, the demon himself, that we are fighting against, but. Let's but let's you, proceed with caution. The the benevolent yet also devious mastermind behind all of this. Yes. Runes like I've fetched juice for everyone. <laughs> Is he holding a big <laughs> jug? Got it, guys! <laughs> it's the Pims, don't worry! <laughs> I just remember going to a friend's wedding and they literally served pims from basically like a barrel cut in half. And they were just like, yeah, just who dip cut, the glass in. Who cut the barrel in half? Um, it was one of the guys from Street Fighter from the third bonus stage where they fall from uh, the whiskey distillery. I actually thought you were going to go for a Loop in the Third reference, but I don't know how well you know that, that series. I've not watched Loop in the Third. Have you ever seen uh, Castle of Cagliostro? Uh, I have seen the beginning of it, and then sadly, the, when I was watching it with uh, someone, they were like, let's watch this film. I've heard lots of really good things, and I was like, I've just done 13 hours at work. Yeah, I'll watch a film. <laughs> I, You should watch that film. It's a really good film. Yeah. Well, it's uh, Lupin the Third is who Spike is based off, isn't it, for Cowboy Bebop? Pretty much, yeah. I mean, you say that, but the, the developers at Namco admit that that's what they did. <laughs> Sorry, I just realized we're immediately starting a fight and then immediately talking about anime straight away. Anime. So, uh, 
for, for anyone who's... Welcome to our secret anime podcast that we're trying to sort of, no. like, pilot through this. No. <laughs> Any... Along with our acting and <clears throat> acting and voiceover careers that we've uh, previously mentioned. Oh, please. This is if, also... if anyone wants to get me in to, like, do some voices, I know my voice sounds terrible right now, but that's because I still have a cough. Um, if anyone feels like they want to hire me for... Well, not even hire me, just just call my people. And I, Who I, are I, your people? Am I your people? You don't have people. Am I, am I now the gatekeeper to your career? Oh, God. Because if so, that, that's fine. I'm in trouble. Uh, it's like you'll be doing a lot of cat food commercials for a bit. Great. You don't even have a cat. I know. That's why it's weird. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, so uh, after the last episode went oh. out, a I... couple of things. Um, I wanted to thank everybody for, um, uh, for, for watching the episode, if you didn't like anime. Uh, and also, lots of people that like us like anime too, so hey, that's great. And didn't I say that wouldn't be a shock last episode, John? You did. Uh, it's just that I make a point not to believe anything that you say either, yeah. so... Yeah. I mean, that's also an issue that we created today, like the <laughs> level of trust in me and you as a friend, and you were just showing that me going through that room filled of spikes on stream. Thanks. <clears throat> that was a good clip, I though. also saw... That was a good clip. Yeah. I mean, it had everything. Notice how we I changed basically the flying steed, and then I can just get across quite easily. So, <clears throat> we're going to use Kisam. Quick ring. And we're going to kill the griffin. Say, say, say the phrase, there we go. I mean, he's part <laughs> dead. Do you know who else is part dead? Slade is on the counter-attack, and he's stunned. Celeste is like, tell you what, lad. <laughs> let me let me just show you how it's done. He's got so 100 HP, so that's probably him dead. Yeah. Yeet! I believe, as the kids say these days. Who are you? Someone who enjoys yelling le yeet. Yeah, my daughter does that. I have no idea what what that is all about, if I'm being honest. Uh, it's like the maximum effort kind of meme for kids. Oh, okay. Uh, a, a it's a Fortnite YouTuber. So basically, if you eat something, you throw it real hard, like maximum oh. power. Oh. Okay. So one of the uh, the memes of the internet is that yeet is for power and Kobe is for precision when you're doing a basketball shot. Right. Okay. To be honest, if I was to do anything at maximum power, I'd be pretending that I was Iron Man from the Marvel vs. Capcom games. And just having the proton cannon, and then just firing that enormous thing on my shoulder. Proton cannon. I mean, surely, like, it'd be. You've not played any of the modern ones, and his uh, he does the uh, Iron Avenger thing, and it's like power inhibitors uh, disengage to. So basically go overload his suit to do his super move no no i haven't seen that yeah that, that's the go-to uh marvel versus capcom reference for that uh level of thing i see not opposed to the old-fashioned pro tom cannon oh yeah i see what you did there yeah that's good yeah uh speaking of um <coughs> excuse me uh <laughs> speaking of speaking of coughing and dying uh my cough is still here we're gonna wreck this guy um, I feel like Zinc will die if he goes here, actually, thinking about it. Let, let's be cautious. How is Zinc's defense? like? It's not that it's amazing. A... It's 76, but 76. if you compare it to one of the wide boys here, not that great. Although, what, Celeste's? Is it 85? But she is boosted, yeah. so... So it's probably less than Zinc's. Yeah, I'm going to put Zinc there, because... He probably would not do well. I, I really want to kill this guy. Yeah. Who who do we think goes after me? Because you could maybe breath a load of guys as well. Uh, that's kind of what I'm thinking. They're I'm just going to blow on you a bit. Their positioning kind of you sucks, but I just could to... just... I could do that. Breath everyone. What is screw that? It. Breath two. Breath two. Yeah. So let's screw it. Let, let's... Go big or go home. Yeah, exactly. And I'm already at home, so yeah. So speak. Before I start coughing to death, 
I was going to say, like, um, we, we had an interesting situation here at uh, our house uh, yesterday. So, um, my, my daughter is, like, uh, approaching um, uh, adolescence very, very quickly. Thank you for scratching my back there. Um, and uh, You'll be ever known as the man who... <laughs> and she is... Um, oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, it hits one. Uh, that's. I think I'll do missile instead. I think that's more yeah. likely to kill him. Um, <clears throat> so my daughter's uh, approaching adolescence, and she is uh, approaching the uh, the moody stage of her development, um, because we keep having to like remind her to do to do things, mainly because she uh, takes her tablet when she goes to the loo, and spends like twenty <laughs> okay. minutes in there. So what happened yesterday was she did said tablet bringing to the toilet, uh, yeah. and then I just realized can Higgins heal? He's a damage dealer, not a healer. My bad. Oh. Yeah. So she took the tablet to the to the loo, and um, my wife uh, said, "Oh, she said, uh, uh, daughter of mine." How are you doing in there? Beloved child. Yes. And she immediately snapped back and said, I'm busy. I'll be a minute. And then she turned... That's what Higgins is saying right now. Yeah. <laughs> She's she be right back. She turned to me uh, to say... Father, Look, back me up. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, to basically say that, um, you know, this is what's been happening recently. Can you try and have a word with her? At which point I, I did the same thing and I just went... Uh, darling child, are you all right in there? And she, her tone immediately changed and just went, "Yes, father, everything's fine. I'll only be a moment." At which point, my oh, yes. my wife Out gave here. me my my wife gave me the worst look I've ever <laughs> seen from her because our daughter obviously treats me better than her. Daddy's a little girl. <laughs> yeah, and it's so obvious as well. She doesn't even try and hide it. <laughs> <laughs> that always makes me uh, when I say daddy's oh, yeah. little girl. Yeah, uh, my sister. When I, I can't, I don't remember this exchange happening, but I get told it a lot. Uh, my sister was like, "Oh, if we ask Mum, she'll get us something from the shop." Mum, get us sweets from the shop. Okay, candy for Americans. Um, and it was like, "Oh no, you've already had a treat. You're not getting anything." And then, oh look at this positioning by the enemy, by the way. Yeah, that sucks. Yep, perfect. Um, and I I was like no my mum was like no you're not getting anything and my sister went I'll show you something dad <laughs> can I have something from the shop my dad yeah sure what you want off to the shop <laughs> yep Turn, turns fair, out we're, like... we're easily manipulated funnily yeah. enough yeah, I, I remember my dad once going into town and I was like, oh, I like the look of that Transformers toy. And my dad went, oh, it's only a tenner. <laughs> no, you, no, you found a, a Transformer it, for only a tenner? I would have bought This is that. like 19, 1988, so probably nowadays it'd be like a solid £20. Yeah, probably. Like like at least double that price. Have you ever seen um, any of the, the YouTuber Ashens? Where is it? Hang on, Gareth. Your your mic has just gone weird again. Yep. Nope. Nope. You're still underwater. Oh. It's still bad. It it's still kind of bad. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, basically, I got the stream buffer notification on Discord, and now apparently I sound like I'm Sebastian under the sea. Great. Uh, please so, don't do the accent, stupid. by the way. Some people do not like that. I'm not. I, I'm not going to. Uh, anyway, uh, so thing you're currently viewing may have connection stability issues. Yeah. Um, what was I going to say again? Oh, yeah, the Ashens guy. The Ashens guy. Uh, so like he, he's basically um, he does like point of view YouTube videos, and he was yeah. doing. He does like all kinds of weird stuff, uh, mostly nostalgia kind of things. Well, I, the way I know him for is like pound shop purchases. Yeah, um, he does that, and he does dollar store things. This yeah. this particular video was a, a nostalgia trip where he um, 
There we go. He had a bunch of uh, old toys, and one of them was the um, the Terminator uh, action figures, of which I actually had. Mm -hmm. I actually had one, and I'd completely forgotten about it until I saw this video. It was the um, the battle damage Terminator with yeah. interchangeable arms. I remember that one. I didn't have it, but I think nearly every other kid at school had it. Yeah, I felt so special until I realized everyone else had it. <laughs> it was it was a cool figure, to be fair. Yeah, because it had like a weird oversized metal arm as well, didn't it? Yeah, <laughs> he said like, it's like... got all these different arms and they all look absolutely awful. There's like a giant <laughs> claw or a missile launcher arm. None yeah, of yeah. which happened in the film. So where they got the ideas for that from, I have no idea. Yeah, yeah. Whenever I, I saw that, do you remember a 80s cartoon slash toy line series called Centurions? Centurions! No, I have That's no idea what you're talking about, Gareth. <laughs> and it always made me laugh that one of the guys, one of his arms, when you took it off, one of the items was an interchangeable missile launcher, and it just looked like someone... Because it, it was like all those knobbly bits, wasn't it? For nice. like the bits that stuck on. Oh, yeah. If you know what I'm getting at, and it just looked like a <laughs> no, tube of them, and someone it just looked like a tube of them, and someone went, yeah, "We'll just call it a missile launcher." The kids will believe it. It just looked like the machine hadn't bent or shaped it in any shape <laughs> or form, and someone went, "Yeah, that that'll do." I know, just save a dollar yeah, or two. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah Eddie Murphy. Kids know for yeah. their imagination. <laughs> yes. <laughs> kids' imagination making up for crappy toys since 1925. Yeah. And now look at our kids these days with all their stimulus and stuff. Oh yeah, I know. Like, when it comes, do you do you feel like uh, we're, we're going to sound like such old men in this episode? But do you feel like it's actually become harder to buy things for kids these days? Simply Oscar has not wanted a toy for years, but then again, I suppose I, the benefit is that he's into sports. All right, he's had two attacks and one of them is instant kill, so it's a fifty percent kill ratio. Okay, uh, you know. And he's also attacked twice and been attacked once without an enemy actually going to out and out attack him. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the point. Be quiet. God, what level is he? He's level 13, 13. and he's still rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> Just remember when we actually promoted him to Ninja and those first few levels were like, oh my god, Slade is so sick, and it turns out... Don't. We were right. He's sick. Don't. Like, terminally ill. No. Just <laughs> leave the poor boy alone. He was so good in the other game. Like, he's so bad in this. Right, so fire... He's not that bad. It's just... Fire is the way to go versus this guy. Because he's versus a fighter. Versus the cool guy. Yes. Has, has Alex literally told you what they're all classed as as well? No, not all the enemies. He's just like... He's got fighters, healers, flyers, archers, and wizards. Right. And all the, you know, how they do against each of the classes. Oh, okay. I I recently had a, a, a similar kind of schooling the other day. So I, on Sunday after I got the uh, aforementioned jab, streamed uh, Fire Emblem Sacred Stones for a little bit, just for nostalgia more than anything. And I dipped oh into God. another Sacred Stones uh, stream. Is Slade dead? Oh, no. Eric no, dodged. Eric. Um, Please be fine. And basically, this guy was speed running Fire Emblem and doing uh, Sacred Stones, and he finished like the whole game in like two hours or three hours. That's crazy. And to there's me. me, there's me playing like two hours, and I've got like chapter six, and but he's like playing it like optimized for speed running. Yeah. So there's none of the like these cool animation scenes that you can get in Fire Emblem. He's just got like what I always call the wobbly character battle scenes. Yeah on the overworld map and like is not reading any of the dialogue to be fair i actually forgot how much painful exposition is in sacred <laughs> stones well like, i mean that that's one of, that's one of the things the fa the fire emblem games like had over regular games wasn't it yeah that they actually had stories where most games on the gba never did yeah <clears throat> um i just forgot how many times they'll tell you the same thing via a sentence like Hey, they, they see uh, it as, like, children that need to be reminded what colour the grass is. You know, they're, yeah. they're so forgetful that... So what are fighters weak to again? Oh, um... Fight, fighters are weak to fire, but flyers yeah. are weak to blast, and that's why Celeste yeah, nearly wind. died. So... 
Oh, uh, you know we were, t we were talking about anime before? Yeah. I actually, um... I we stopped? <laughs> yes, yes we did. Uh, I'm gonna bring it up very, very quickly though, because there's a thing going on in the anime community right now that's, uh, kind of a big deal. And by a big deal, I mean I it's really not. Um, yeah. So, do you, do you know what the series Attack on... Oh, Celeste. Celeste Have I heard of Attack on Titan? Is that the question you're going to ask it, me? It was until Celeste... Dodged like a boss? Oh! Okay, <laughs> never mind. Have you heard of Attack on Celeste is Alive? No, not got a clue. Great. That's my bit, by the way. Don't steal that. <laughs> So, Attack on Titan is actually coming to the end of its run. The series is nearly complete. Yeah. And well, isn't it not actually meant to be the end, end, end as well? That, that's what I mean. Like, it's yeah. it's meant to be the end of the story. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good job he did that when he had 17 health. <laughs> <laughs> what a boss. What a boss. Look at him, that guitar. He's just, he's just leveling up every time he uses uses his sword. Because he's so underleveled and pathetic. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it. so Attack on Titan is finishing soon. I think there's like two yep. episodes left or something. And apparently like Twitter has become like filled with just spoilers for anyone who didn't watch it on the day it aired. Okay. So um, anyone who's... Thankfully I don't do Twitter, so even though I've got a Twitter account, I just, I'm just rubbish at using it. So <laughs> I, I was thinking about this, like, because I learned about um, the, uh, the Trash Taste guys again. We're talking about this particular yeah. phenomenon that's going on right now, which, which is basically people being douchebags. Yeah. Yes, social media being terrible. And please, please, Gareth, have a talk with your boy, because eventually he's going to hit somebody and kill them like that. I just can't help it that I'm so strong. But maybe the blood will have sated my lust. <laughs> it really has. He's fine. <laughs> Dear me. Okay. Just needed to get out of my system. I guess I'm so. I'm done now. Yeah. I'm fine. Um. But yes, uh, surely you'd be better just trying to kill the uh, yeah. So social media, I'd have gone up social wild. social media is like terrible for for that kind of thing. And yeah. I was thinking that like I so Gareth knows this extremely well, and I, I'd like to think that most people are getting to the to the point where they understand that I actually have a terrible memory. Out of all the people I know, I probably have the worst memory of anyone. And so, I thought you were just going to say next episode we're not actually going to play the game, we're just going to read a list of spoilers for a se an array of series to see what happens. No, so, what, was actu what actually occurred to me is that I've actually been spoiled on all kinds of things, Yeah. but I forget, I, realize. <laughs> I forget what happens so that the spoiler doesn't matter anymore. Yeah. So what I'm calling nice. this is the power of ignorance. <laughs> so, I'm, I'm wondering if anyone else, like, suffers from that kind of thing, like where they've been spoiled on something, but their their brain is so smooth that they just forget what happened. <laughs> and um, everything's I fine again. Is this, my is this Slade's this time? Weird... It's Slade's time. Okay. Slade's time. Um, my sister has like uh, a kind of inverse ratio to that, where you can tell her what happens and she'll be excited because she wants to see how they get there. Okay. Does that... Like... She doesn't mind people... that she's been spoiled. She's just excited for... The... The light, what's yeah. going to happen? Yeah, because okay. usually someone. Will be, I always remember uh, a video that went viral when one of the Harry Potter books came out. What's Grim gonna do? Hit him with the stick? I think he has to. Yeah. Um. And basically, a guy, they, some guys, uh, got someone it. who can speed read. Okay. And they got him to speed read the book, and then they drove around the block. And he told them where the spoilers were on, like, what page characters died, um, like, all those kind of revelations. And it was just funny listening to some, like, it was trolly as. Yeah. Uh, as someone who doesn't care about Harry Potter, uh, I was like, this is kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> but I can also imagine if you're really into Harry Potter, yeah. you'd be like, oh, God, that guy. Yep. Someone threw his wand at the car. That's the level <laughs> of anger that happened. <laughs> Sorry, John. No, it's all right. That was good. And I nearly killed John with that. <laughs> well, it, you wouldn't have killed me. You just would have made, like, you know, I would have had to take a spit-take break. Yeah. 
But, um, How do you feel we're doing so far, by the way? We we still have like we're doing five... okay. I think I think I've killed as many people as everyone else. Yeah, so. we've got <laughs> we've lost three people on the way over to yeah. to this. Three strong stalwart people: Eric, Slay, and Higgins. Higgins. Higgins is good. I I don't know why you have a problem with Higgins. Um, well, he I was gonna say, you know, two out of three of those were tagalongs. Very much so. But you know, and I think Higgins was just in a bad spot. Yeah, just yeah. Unlike me playing fire, that's the other reason I'm really slow at playing Fire Emblem. Is like I don't want anyone to die because it's got permadeath. So yeah, I become very attached to characters, and in my little tiny mind, I go, I have to finish the game with everyone. Unlike the guy who I went onto the speed run in, is like, oh well, my secondary attacker's dead. Well, onto the next guy. <laughs> I mean, and the, like one of the to be fair, Gareth, if, if this were real life and I had to choose somebody to be like my did general, he moved twice in a row. He did, and he moved backwards. I'm not really sure about that one. If if Can't I wait. if I had to have somebody who is like being my general in chief, I think I would choose him over you because he could be objective about it. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't need no sentimentality I... in my in my uh, man's John, you've army. You've seen me play Van. You you've you've seen me play Vandal Hearts, right? <laughs> Yeah, when get in they go. <laughs> <laughs> There's a reason one of the characters got called Captain Cannon Fodder. Now we'll test this out with Grog. In you go. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder how strong they are. Grog, you've got a job to do. Grog, put on your punching face. <laughs> <laughs> I always wear this face, sir. Well, <laughs> get in there anyway. They're all this running feels away. Suspicious. It really does feel very suspicious, <laughs> doesn't it? I wonder if I can get a stun here. Yeah. That would be useful. Let's try but, it. Um, yeah, in games where permadeath is a thing, I, of course, <laughs> of course, I saw the cloaks before the text came up. Um, okay, <laughs> he, he's doing the suspicious man shuffle. No, what he's actually done is like, I'm going to the shops. Forgot my wallet. <laughs> so one thing I have learned is that obviously wizards are resistant to all forms of elemental magic. magic. So Grim's going to save his MP here. Does Grim not also have no MP? He's got like five. No, he's, no, he's got more than that. He's got like Before 55. Before as a uh, rune giving him the ring. Excuse me? Has he used the ring? He has used the sage ring, yes. Yeah. I feel like this is a little bit close, but I suppose if anyone's going to be close, it, it's okay that it's your yeah. character. In you go. <laughs> In you go. <laughs> Zinc still poisoned. It'd be really great to have a character with aid. We don't have <laughs> any characters with aid, unfortunately. Nice. Okay, that's that Blaze 4 gotten rid of. Yeah. I actually was very scared of that. Since we have a lot of fighters in this team, I almost did something. If you, if I say this following phrase, John, do you what? I wonder if nostalgia will come over you. In one, we have. Yeah, it's the bullies darts thing that it no like. American is going to understand yeah. at all. That's all I could think of when that javelin left Celeste's hand. I was like, in one. Yeah, and okay. I always loved like the list of prizes as well. Yeah, here's what you could have won: a jet ski. But I'm from a landlocked. But I'm from farm. Birmingham. Yeah. I'm from Birmingham. I'm from the Midlands where there's no water. And of course it hits. Yeah. The perfect D soul. Six percent of the time it hits every time, unless you're the AI. Then 100 percent of the time it does 6 percent of your damage, even though it's damage. a 50 percent skill. No stun. Yeah, that was another thing that I was uh, going to mention with us talking about tactics and being objective. Uh, that's, is that's watching the speedrunner he was like making it so he was using the minimum amount of characters uh, that you're allowed to take to do a whole map so Zeus I would say Zeus is the the electric one because healers are apparently um, I know this is scared we, they're scared of Bolt <laughs> I mean they're, they're possibly scared of it yeah. I would say that Thunder Zeus and lightning, very very frightening yeah I'd say Zeus is probably the electric attack right that's what I go for. Of course it's not. No, oh. I, that, that seems... Yeah. I don't know what my voice that was doing just fairly. then, but... Yeah, that, that seemed effective. Uh, 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 
we get older, we'll all become closer to Christopher Walken. Oh god. <laughs> Are we gonna, like, get some revelation about Christopher Walken just then? The way you made no. that sound? Like, no thanks. <laughs> I don't need that in my it's life. Kind of how, it's kind of like how I actually sort of get to doing the Christopher Walken voice. Is you sort of, like, go real slow and kind of screechy. Coach closer, oh, children. Oh wow, that, that's some movement. Uh, what I the heck have a is right that? Out. Um, it, it hit me it for look one. Like it's some kind of e evil parrot. No, he doesn't. He looks like, like a skeleton. Do you know, what he looks like he looks like a magical girl. That that's what he looks like with with that scepter. <laughs> but no, the scepter looks like an evil parrot. <laughs> is what I was meaning. Like the skeletal remains of the evilest parrot in the whole of Grand. The evilest. The evilest. Our English good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Got a good education. Spell education. Education. E J. U. K. Actually, that guy. I bet this guy cannot reach us because the the wood is too thick. I wonder if um, I can put him there and still be safe. One way to find out is let's there, do it. Scroll the rules. I have money. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What's that You know from? what I'm referencing? Um, it's Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged. Wait a minute, did you just summon a bunch of monsters in one turn? Yeah, so? That's against the rules, isn't it? Screw the rules, I have money. Ah, okay. It's how, the, basically when Kaiba does anything, it, it's like, <laughs> Screw the rules, I have money! <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I wish it were true, but unfortunately not. Especially given, like, how Yu-Gi-Oh! used to be played, and Kaiba's like, I've done all this, it's like, Oh my god, he's summoned a, a crap bunch load of monsters. That's not in the rules. Screw the rules, I have money. <laughs> oh, uh, there's, oh, there's one, other, that, one that, other thing I would like to, uh, to point out uh, in today's episode. I yeah. uh, started playing a game. Uh, in fact, Gareth, what, what are you playing apart from Fire Emblem? Are you playing anything uh, I'm at the moment? Play <laughs> I am playing Fire Emblem... I'm playing Monster Sanctuary. In no way have I secretly grinded Monster Sanctuary and actually read on uh, some strategies on how team builds go. Uh, I'm playing for the first time vic vicariously through my son Pokemon Red and Blue, the original Pokemon Red and Blue, which he's streaming on my <laughs> channel. <laughs> I have good memories uh, of that game. What, Pokemon? Yeah, Pokemon Red and Red and Blue. I got Pokemon yeah. Red and... Um, and I actually imported it. Yeah. Uh, because it took, like, I think it was something ridiculous, uh, like, another year for it to come out here, because yeah. that's just how it used to work. Uh, Welcome to the, to the European uh, games market. The I never played Pokemon. Uh, Pokemon's good. Shock horror. I'm not saying it's bad. I, I, I think the only Pokemon game I've played to a decent extent was uh, Ruby where you have is it Blaziken? I started oh, yeah. with Torchic. Yeah. Um, I was very mature with the naming of my Torchic. Hmm. Um, I, I named it Ballsack. <laughs> and I did I was <laughs> Of course was you did. Of course you I'm, did. I I was I I nearly died laughing when the first evolution happened. It went, something's happening to your ball sack. <laughs> it grew. Oh, no. <laughs> and I was unaware that this was going to be a thing, and I nearly dropped my 3DS. <laughs> uh, not my 3DS, my uh, DS. Yeah. Um, with laughter. Yeah, I, I, I can believe it. Because even though I was maybe in my 20s, it was hilarious. Yeah. So I, I always have like this weird uh, affinity for the Pokemon games, so... The red and blue one I played when I was, um, I think I was 17, something like that, yeah. when I had like lots of free time and I actually had the time to develop, you know, all the characters and all the, the grinding that's required in a game like that. And yeah. then all the games since I have been unable to get into simply because there is too much grinding involved. Yeah. Like the, there's, there's, there's a certain point that everyone who plays I thought he was going to get a second attack and kill her. Yeah, yeah, I was panicking then. I think <clears> my <throat> issue with, like, someone was... So, hang uh, on, I'm, I'm not done yet. I'm not Sorry. done yet. 
So I think there's a point where any, everyone who plays Pokemon games comes to where they play the game for about, let's say, 10 hours and they are right. loving the experience. Hang on, I'm getting my button presses mixed up. They're loving yeah. the experience and then all of a sudden they come to a, a spot in the game where it requires you to, to actually do some grinding. And I, every time I get to that point in the game, I just switch off. I mean, real hard switch off. Like, yeah, yeah. Can never get back into it at that point. And that's happened to uh, me with I like can... four different Pokemon games. I can see that. Like Oscar, the, so he's experienced. So I think I've mentioned that my son's first video game that he finished was Pokemon Sword. And now that he's done that, he's actually willing to see games through, and he's gone back to playing, like trying to play things like Breath of the Wild and such. Cool. Um, yeah. That would have been. And good. he has finished Pokemon Sword at least five times all the way through. Wow. And as I pointed out to him, like, but the thing is, though, it's linear. You ju you can literally go gym to gym to gym to gym to gym to gym to gym and finish. Yeah. Whereas, unlike the other one where it's like, I said to him, it's like, have you actually spoken to any of the characters in the world? He's like, no, I'll just go from gym to gym. Like, the, there's no need to talk to people or do side quests or anything. You just... Really? Go about. Yeah. That's there's no like you know finding like in, the flute to wake up Snorlax. I was going to say that it's just like, like in those other Pokemon games, if, if you don't do that, you miss out on a lot of good gear because like lots of people will give you stuff that's yeah. you know really handy. There's a guy called the Pokeball guy who is someone with a massive Pokeball Pokeball on his head, okay. and he just appears randomly in places and gives you like really good stuff. Oh, here like we go, Master Balls. Here we go, go. Am I dead? I'm not dead. Not yet, anyway. So, I just realized that we're in this situation now. Uh, but Grim doesn't have enough mana. MP. So, yeah. I'm going to hope that you stun, uh, he, Grim stuns the skeleton. Well, that's, well, <laughs> that's disappointing. I, I feel, did he not have a sage ring he could have used to just start topping off no, his uh, he, MP? No, he doesn't have any rings. I don't think he can equip them. If I'm wrong about that, right. then I'm wrong about that. Yeah. This is going to be an interesting In fight, mean... though, because like our sustain is not great. Yeah. Unlike in other fights. I mean, do we just... Yeah, there we go. Are we just Are Celesting we... in? I think we just screen Celeste, and she just <laughs> like destroys Red, Red Baron eventually. Like, as, as I was going to say, we're actually just going to focus Red Baron and hope that he doesn't respawn. Yeah, I hope it, this is just straight up regular fight. Yeah, that'll do. It might not have been uh, the biggest number we've ever seen in our life. What do you think? Breath or, <laughs> breath. breath or no breath? Yeah, I think breath. And also it does a little bit of tag damage on the other guy. I mean, that was fairly solid. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he did, like, nearly, what, 200 damage between two characters. And hide. <laughs> See? That's, uh, that's not hiding enough, is he, it? Is there anyone got... Uh, well, remember, he can move twice. So he'd have to move all the way around there. everyone. I think that's fine, yeah. There. We'll find out. That's... Join us next week when we redo this fight. 21.2. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Yes, wrecked. Randall. <laughs> the big boy makes good. Yeah. I mean, he, he could have hit Red Baron instead, but I will take yeah. that. I was just thinking, would... What is that would wimpy heal ass would... dodge that he just did? <laughs> it's like one frame of animation. In goes road, block, block, block. <laughs> the roadblock. Is deployed. <gasps> I didn't think you could stun boss characters. Get Shrek. Apparently you can't. <laughs> Wait, for one turn he did though. And he just one hit road. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna stun him again, this time with Grim. <laughs> <laughs> and then Gr Grim gets shredded. Oh, uh, okay. Well That one MP is gonna be vital. <laughs> 
Do we B-Soul and... <laughs> Sage Ring? I... You know, I think Sage Ring is probably the way to go, isn't it? Yeah. It would Ooh. be Sage... Sage Ooh. advice. <laughs> yep. Yes. Yep. <laughs> yes. Free 100 damage. Yes, please. I mean, he can do breath twice, should he survive. Celeste. This might... Get him. We might <laughs> win this just because of... Ah, I spoke too soon. No. Oh, wait. Wait. Get nailed. Okay. So, he has 100 and health. And am I, am I next? Okay. Zinc will die Zinc. because of his poison. But that's fine. Yeah. To the scrap heap temporarily. Yes. Unfortunately, this means Red Baron can actually kind of get straight right. up to Bowie. Be, be, be. Okay. Or he can die. We did it. Hang on. <laughs> this is Alex we're dealing with. It might not be that simple. Is he making this a seas map where we have to go all the way to Gallum and get in there? Oh, thank God. Oh, we did it. Okay, <laughs> that's great. Okay, we we beat Red Baron. It was it was it was fine. It was easy. So Astral, he's. He's crying. Why would he be I'm crying? I'm not crying. I was just chopping onions. I think I've seen I I think I've seen his style of fighting before. Let's see his face. Astral removes the mask. Huh? Oh. It's Lemon. Let me see him. Even though I've never met Lemon before. <laughs> Let me look upon this lemon you speak of. Wow, he's alive! Lemon. 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 Where? What? Oh, Sir Astral, I had an awful nightmare. I was controlled by someone and I killed a lot of... It wasn't a dream. Why did you suddenly make me think of code, uh, code name Metal Gear? What? <laughs> <laughs> huh? Metal Gear. You were being controlled by a devil, and he made you kill every person you saw. You recovered your senses when we defeated the devils. I can't believe it! I'm Lemon! I'm... What can I do? How can I atone for my sins? Sir Astral, tell me. You're not at fault. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. I mean, it was your sword, your hands, your body, <laughs> but it wasn't your I fault. Can, I can just imagine you just, just like Monty Python just going, stab, stab. It's not my fault! The devils are to blame. But... You thought it was in your best interests. I don't know how he's spinning this. <laughs> I have to die for my sins. It will be my atonement. I have to die. We Bye. <laughs> oh, I have to die. Lemon. Bye. Sir Astral, Lemon has fled. I. How bad do you expect Sir Astral's eyesight to be? He was right in front of all of us. <laughs> we let him die? Thank you, Peter. My cataracts were really playing <laughs> <Yeah>. up. <laughs> Lemon is an immortal fiend now. He can't die very easily. I think we'll meet him again. Woody, let's go. Maybe in the next town. Maybe... Like, is the next town actually a fight? No. Let me just check this. I, I, I was just like, are we safe to go in? Are we okay? Let, let me just... Save there and then... <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, that's my uh, pre-entering Gallum, Gallum. Uh, ritual that I have to uphold. Yeah. Yeah, no, we, I was actually joking on stream that one of the characters in um, Sacred Stones is basically King Gallum. <laughs> I'm kind of curious about this, by the way. It, it was what was was it the Dwarven Town? I'm wondering if we get like the dry stone from somewhere before we end the game. Alex said when we did the tier list that there's no dry stone in this version. So how do we get across then? Is there, a, is there a, think, a little bridge? I think Alex was just like, I'm just going to make something cool looking. <laughs> oh, okay. Jam this cave mouth in. Red Baron, Red Baron, is, Baron lemon. is lemon. Shocker. He was running around and crying for somebody to kill him. Dude, you have I a giant him multiple sword. multiple times. <laughs> like, here's a giant sword. He's just like, somebody kill me! Just, I, I just like... 
as I was saying, like my bit is like the kid is like I stabbed him multiple times and he just didn't die. <laughs> <laughs> I tried really hard, but he's he's tough. <laughs> My boyfriend has not returned from the war. I hope he's alive. That was like years ago. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> we investigate the bookshelves. Super Mario! Super Mario! Nipples percent. Actually, have we, have we searched We've all read of these it. all before? I, yeah. It's so long ago now. Cut to some montage that John's made in a Wayne's World fashion, showing us running around at high speed through all these buildings. Yeah. Lemon went south. He was acting strange. The priest of Yield liked the piano. The ghost may be him. G -g 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 ghost piano. Huh. Okay. Interesting. You can just buy angst now. Everything. Yeah. You're not good enough? Anks. So how many angst are we buying, John? <laughs> About ten. We don't need them. <laughs> what happens if the wheel is cruel to us? <laughs> then then we buy more. <laughs> how many do we have? We've got what, two silver rank? Three silver rank? Some uh, maybe four and one gold one. Yeah. King Gallant Let's has be not honest. returned from the war against Grand Seal. That was like five years ago. Why is anyone else? Mate, like, why is, why is mate, anyone talking about I've built about a that? town in this time. <laughs> yeah. I fled my city, built a new city, left that city. <laughs> yeah, I defeated, like, you know, all kinds of weird demons and monsters. Like... Weird and wonderful things. Yeah. But... I've killed so many rats. <laughs> yes. <laughs> many, many rats. From Grand Seal? I didn't know anyone survived that earthquake. This is I like how the caravans outside this house, like this I've, this is the headquarters now, this house with this old lady. Yep. I heard from a soldier that Yeel is haunted. He said that he heard the sound of a piano playing. The old Joanna. That's a question. Someone was on about Fantasy Star, John. Yes. In your comment section? Yes. How do you feel about that series? I know you, I've never played it, and I'd I'd commented that I'd considered playing it. I've tried to play them in the past and got turned off by like yeah. how some people may dislike this, but they seem kind of ordinary. If that makes sense. RPGs from a different generation. I think a lot of them were made before this, weren't they? Yeah. So it it's kind of. I'm not sure how to... I feel about like the through the eyes combat mechanism but it was also in Shining Dark. I, I have as well. played like old Amiga games that were like that but the only thing that like really appeals to me because the combat doesn't it just seems very mm. extremely ordinary at this point yeah. is it giving um, nuts to cats to make them fly is that a thing in Fantasy Star 1, yeah. Oh, okay. It's, it's like how the main character travels with her pet, and you, you get nuts and give it to the thing, and it turns into, like, the dragon from uh, Never Ending Story kind of thing. Oh, cool. I may, I, I, I'm I literally dragging this from a memory from about 20 years ago, so if someone in the comments is like, Gareth is so wrong, <laughs> Gareth was just high right. when he was an eight-year-old. <laughs> yeah, okay. I wish I was eight 20 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> All right then. Eighteen. Yeah, uh, Lemon made that hole. He jumped off the top of the castle, but he didn't. All right, that's the vanilla. Did he, is the reason there. the priest's not here because he's doing the depot to change his name to Yamcha? Ouch. <clears throat> uh, do you know about the statue of the devil? It appeared at the ancient tower. That sorry, the what? The, the statue. Statue. Go back. Read the dialogue again. Right, hang on. Red Baron was looking for something at the ancient tower. Nobody returned from that trip. I didn't go. I was smart. I wonder if that's the gap. Stout you. Look at the words. <laughs> there we go. Okay, um, Alex. I. We we've got a a, a bug splat. Like, <laughs> you, you need to deal with that. I'm afraid. Did the guy sneeze as he was saying the word statue? Statue. I heard a rumor that a handsome boy is leading the devils now. I wonder who that could be. 
Oh wait, handsome. No, it's not me. Hang on, I, I bet the the other guy is here, isn't he? The other um, priest. Yeah, wasn't the guy who was like, "I'm smart." Also, the guy like, "I'm going to be here in the armor room." <laughs> here he is. There we go. All right. Rise from your grave. Oh, ha ha ha! I didn't see that coming. You're welcome. What's this guy doing? Why am I guard in the kitchen? <laughs> I mean... It's a he's... good question. Yeah. I do this every time. Uh, so this... many empty barrels. It, they're all empty all the time. Like, nobody ever uses these barrels. Yeah. It's... Who needs food storage in a medieval kingdom? I, I didn't look at it that way. I just thought they were all teetotal. Yeah, well... It... I mean, they st ca carried more than just alcohol in barrels. You want to enter the tower? Oh, he's talking about the ancient tower. I thought he was talking about like some hidden stuff <laughs> that's over here. I buried it <clears throat> along with all the bodies. I mean, yeah, they'll <laughs> never find me. <laughs> oh, I'll get you next time. I think time, he was looking for Baron. the holy sword. Please don't tell anybody that I told you. Now we can get the magic boxes. Diamond. Diamond. I don't, Shine like a diamond. We've never had a diamond before. No. Mr. Shine, he diamond. Okay. People in the comments can tell me where oh, that's from. Oh, Hope. Show, okay. show me how how smart they are. Um. All right. Let's let's take a look at this diamond thing. Where be it? Diamond. It's not diamond at all. It's merely diamante. Oh. That looks like a dry stone to me. Uh, that, if anything, that looks like uh, the Eye of Sauron, but, you know. <laughs> you know what, it actually does. Tell you what we're going to do. We are going to, before we stop the episode, we're going to go see... Are we going to see if we can summon some kind of hell spawn at a river? Yes. Is that why the Kraken had minotaur arms, that it's going to be a bridge of minotaurs all the way across? That would be really cool, but I don't think <laughs> uh, Alex would be capable of that with his art uh, techniques that it we made fun flawless. of with the... With the, with the Broken wing. Let me just save the stake because I don't want to start another fight that we're not ready for. Uh, I don't want to accidentally break the whole game. Yeah. I uh, summon the Dark Lord of the Cave. Huh. Okay. Have you tried equipping the diamond? I don't think you can. Have we tried giving it to a dwarven smith? Let's, Have you let's tried do licking that. it? Two thousand years later. Damn. Have you tried licking it, though? Never mind, then. So you can't do that with it. I, I'm sure Alex will come to me and just like, dude, it makes total sense. It's a diamond. So you do diamondy things with it. Do not lick the diamond. <laughs> if you're at home and you're thinking of licking diamonds, don't do that. It's dangerous. And it's a very expensive habit. It really is. <laughs> anyway, on that bombshell of good information that you should take <laughs> to heart, uh, that's going to do it for today's episode. So uh, thank you, Gareth, for, for joining me as usual. Um, Welcome. And that's it. So, uh, oh, before I go, actually, I played some Loop Hero. That's a game that I, I actually wanted to talk about and we never got around to it. I like I liked how you went on to that and then I think you decided to tell me about your daughter's iPad toilet tablet. Uh tablet uh tablet habits. Yes. Yeah, I to so habit. I've been playing Loop Hero, I really liked it, so I made this. I've seen this already and it's sick. You might need to come forward a bit. Shiny light, shiny light. Closer, closer. Appease your gods. How's that? Looks good. Yeah. Very good. For some reason, the Loop Hero font in LEGO looks like a really low-budget Guitar Hero font. It, yeah, it kind of does, doesn't <laughs> it? It's the, it's the largest I can make it. But yeah, yeah. Um, Loop Hero is cool. Uh, check it out. Um, that's going to do it for today. So, ciao. We'll talk about it next time. Bye. <laughs>